Hello again, and welcome back to the Fear and Beer podcast, where we talk all things horror, horror nights, and just a dash of beer. I'm Nick. And I'm Seamus. All right, all you horror night nut jobs out there that are sadly sitting at home instead of at the parks. I know, just like us. We are right there with you. But thanks to our buddies over at Horror Night Nightmares, they set up this awesome event. And like we said last week, we'll find a way to weasel our way in. Yeah, we begged our way in. (laughs) We did. We found a way (laughs) in. So you are going to be hearing this on that Saturday. We uh, usually You're listening to this. On Saturday. on Saturday, as of right now, we yeah, it's, we time travel. We're Saturday. recording this on Thursday night. However, we typically, for those of you that don't know us or our podcast, we drop our stuff on Fridays. But to fit with this event, we figured let's just keep the train rolling on that whole Saturday and join in with everybody and just have a cool event style thing, yeah, some social media thing. Why I don't guess. we introduce like? Because I'm sure, I'm mean, hopefully. Hoping, hoping yeah. that we get some uh, new listeners yeah. from this event. So why don't we just kind of walk those new listeners kind of through what we do, who yeah, we are. For sure. Um, we can do a truncated version of the intro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not a 45-minute yeah. who we are. Not like our first not episode. Like the first episode. All right. So just a quick little brief rundown. My name is Nick. My name is Seamus. And we are Fear and Beer. So each week we bring you, during the Halloween Horror Night season, we will bring you reviews, house walkthroughs, just straight up stuff like that. Running up to the event, we obviously just discuss rumors and kind of go into that a little bit. And we are very much in tune with the whole... What drew us in was we used to run a haunt event back in the day, which we've discussed a couple times on our podcast. Yeah. So you can go back and listen to that yeah, if you Check out like. those episodes. Don't like, t- Take this as just a quick intro, but go back and listen to every, all the other episodes because yeah. it'll give you a whole rundown of like who we are, where we came from as far as haunts yes. are concerned, and just what we are as fans of horror. So We go very much in depth on those episodes, but just for a back backstory, we did do our event and that's kind of what drew us in so oftentimes leading up to the event what we were what we were doing is we were taking those speculated houses and we were kind of coming up with what would we do with that property as a house so we kind of would mentally pre walk you through those houses to the best of our judgment just so that we can go back and see how right or how terribly wrong we were right but that's what we had done prior to HHN coming up now technically being in that HHN off season what we do is we kind of break our show up, still bring it to you weekly, but each week we have sort of a different category. I yeah, guess we kind of go into it. more just horror in general. Yeah, so we're talking movies, we're drinking beer, and each episode we pick a Halloween-themed beer, a horror-themed beer, something that looks spooky, spooky. and we just kind of share with you some little backstory of that beer. We try to give some promo to those local breweries because... They make some really good stuff, and they deserve all of the credit that they can get. Yep. That's kind of fear and beer in a nutshell. We drink beer, we watch movies, and we like horror. And if you're a fan of any three of those things, come and give us a listen. We are on all streaming platforms, so yep. Spotify, Google Podcasts, Find Apple us Podcasts, wherever you uh, download Anchor. your podcasts. We are um, specifically Orlando mm-hmm. Halloween Horror Nights, so if anybody's listening from the West Coast or likes the L.A. one, um, we do touch on it a little bit, yep. um, but since we are Central Florida based, we yep. typically we follow are, just the Orlando stuff. Yeah, we are 10 to 15 minutes outside of Universal, so just a yep. stone's throw away. Let's dive in. Saturday, sure. this is that HHN event, and we wanted to just kind of thank Horror Night Nightmares for kind of piecing this whole thing together. It was I saw it just randomly on uh, Twitter. They posted about it. I know that there was some speculation build up leading up to it, you know, like announcements coming soon, and I was... Just like you, I was on the edge of my seat kind of waiting to see mm-hmm. what was uh, behind the curtain, and they did not disappoint. So if you have checked the schedule yet, just make sure that you're staying up to date on that. There's a lot of cool contests that are being run, a lot of cool giveaways, a lot of great podcasts that are putting out all kinds of material on this day. So check out that schedule, the fan community event schedule. It has everything listed from 9.30 a.m. all the way through 11.30 p.m. So lots of lots of yeah, a cool ton of, content. Ton of ton of stuff. It's a great community. I mean, obviously yeah. you guys know that if you're listening to this because you're part of the community. But 
as far as creators are concerned, there's a ton of great creators out there that are all whole part of this event. And, you know, hopefully we'll get to meet some of them yeah. at some point. So we'll go through really quickly. I'm just going to list um, a couple of the things that are going on. There's a lot of cool content, like photo contests. So there's a favorite year in photo contest. There's a best scare zone photo contest. There's a best photo with a scare actor contest. And there's actually a build your own spec map contest. That's pretty cool. Which is something that we actually who's, did. Who's judging that one? Is it is it the Nightmares guys? Or is it somebody else? That is from the Nightmare guys. Yeah, from the Nightmares HHN guys. Nightmares. Yeah. So that is actually one of the style of episodes that we have done in the past and are going to do mm -hmm. again. If you listen back to one of our previous episodes, we did a all 90s event. Cause so we, we took all material from the 90s and we made up some original houses that were derived specifically from the 90s so maybe we'll toss that into the into the ringer and see what they say <laughs> yeah see what they say see what happens we get but, laughed out of the building <laughs> yeah right but if you like spec maps or something like that check out that episode and and stay tuned because we'll be doing that again at some point but yeah go through that list there's a lot of really good stuff there's a beetlejuice watch along towards the end of the night there's a bride of frankenstein watch along at the end of the night so Definitely check all this stuff out. Yeah. This is specifically more so for our ongoing listeners, just because I'm sure they may not have known yeah, that we so were doing some, this. So Yeah. Some people that, I mean, whether you follow us on Instagram or, or Twitter or anything like that, we have a lot more on Instagram just because it's easier to, to follow people and get the follow back than we do on Twitter. But Twitter was all buzz with all this. So if you follow us on Twitter, I'm sure you've seen this, but... If you, if you don't follow Twitter, us, yeah, you should you, follow us. Yeah, if you're not on Twitter, if you're on Instagram, you might not have seen as many people post about this whole schedule from HHN Nightmare. So check it out. Get tuned in. And Saturday, if you're free, just jump along for the ride and close your eyes, pretend you're at HHN. Yeah, right. So what we're going to be doing for this event, obviously, we're going to be releasing this podcast. And we also have a special giveaway. we got a double feature a couple giveaway. Giveaways. Yeah, so one winner. We're going to be giving away Friday the 13th, Steelbook, Blu-ray. Holding it in my hands. Yeah. Unfortunately, when I, I made a mistake, when I purchased it, the casing, it just reminded me of the original Friday the 13th. So I just kind of grabbed it before I looked at the back. It's, it's unfortunately the Michael Bay one. <laughs> well, see, it's still cool, your but first, you, you, you see, Nick, Nick, Nick failed. The first, the first uh, quiz of horror is that if it's if it's Jason on the cover, he yeah. wasn't in the original. So, I know, but I mean, on the I get it on I the post. I, I was thinking the original poster just kind of had the outline <laughs> of the person. But either way, it's the killer cut steel book Blu-ray. Even if you don't watch it, it looks cool on your collection shelf. So I, I either bought you a movie or a prop. Hey, I I I'd still watch it. Yeah, it's I'm still, not saying it's my favorite. No, but it's it's watchable. Just saying, you know, a girl's boobs look like planet and planets, planets in these in this movie. If you didn't know, <laughs> you will also receive it, the 1990 Tim Curry, which is also Steelbook Blu-ray, and then with those two Blu-ray, you will also get one of those HHN Icon glasses from Universal. So if you haven't seen those yet, obviously there's Jack, caretaker, storyteller, director. So we got a random glass to pair with those. So double feature giveaway, you get both of those movies and a glass. And the second winner is going to receive House of a Thousand Corpses and The Devil's Reject, which is in a two-pack Blu-ray. And you will also receive a glass. So obviously fear and beer, we're not really allowed to just give away yeah, beer. Yeah, we can't ship beer. That's <laughs> However, I can give you the glass that you can to put, put beer the beer in. in. Exactly. That makes so, more sense. sit back, enjoy some movies. Pour out a cold one and just kind of get in the horror night mood. Yeah. Or, or, you know, pour a cold one, throw on the new episode of Fear and Beer and, <laughs> and listen to listen us rant about something stupid. Yeah. <laughs> so at the very end of this podcast, we will go over the rules on how to enter the contest and we'll go into that in depth. Mm -hmm. As for our actual content on this episode, tonight we are going to go over our top 10 HHN things we can't wait for in 2021. Right. So we could wait a whole year to see these things. Kind of a long little tagline, but these are things that we just as fans cannot wait for, whether it's a feeling, whether it's a sight, whether it's a taste. Yeah, it's just that feeling you get when you when you see the things that you recognize immediately as as Halloween Horror Nights is yeah. the event itself. And we just listed some stuff out that we personally ourselves, you know, love doing or 
you know, you love that feeling. It's almost like that 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 smell that reminds you of grandma's house. You know yeah. what I mean? So like you feel you that, good. that comfy smell or that comfy Which like, our thing. smell was just cigars. Well, yeah, it was either <laughs> it was either cigars comforting. for one house or it was like for me it was like this specific like I don't know, some old lady cologne that yeah. reminds me reminded uh, me of her. But mine was cigars and then my dad's <laughs> side was cigarettes. <laughs> cigarettes and deli meat. That's but the you Italian. Know, but you me. know what we're trying to get. You know, you know, you know what we're getting that. But but so yeah, so top ten HHN things we cannot wait for. But first, fear and beer. We haven't really touched on the beer, so yeah, let's, let's crack talk about open the beer. the beer we're gonna be drinking tonight. So before I start rambling about what the beer is and who made it, I'm gonna pop the top of it. Tonight, Nick has provided us the beer that we're gonna uh, we're gonna try and we're gonna recommend. Uh, it's called the Great Er, the Great Er Pumpkin. I think it's a play on Charlie Brown, and it's got a Jack Lantern on the front, so it's pretty obvious. It's not Pumpkinhead. No, for once, for I'm once. not drinking Pumpkinhead. <laughs> I mean, I love Pumpkinhead too, but it's nice to have some different pumpkin beers in yeah. here. Uh, but it's a pumpkin ale brewed with. Pumpkin, obviously, and spices aged in bourbon barrels. So this is definitely different. Um, I ha- I've had ales aged in bourbon barrels before, but with pumpkin spices in it, that'll be a little different. It is by a brewery called Heavy Seas Beer. That's H-E-A-V-Y-S-E-A-S Beer. They have a skull, almost like a Jolly Roger, mm. as their logo, obviously. Uh, and they are from Baltimore. They have quite a story. I'll let Nick pour this out yep. while I kind of tell a quick story of who they are. Um, like I said, they're based in Baltimore. Uh, 1982, there was a man named Hugh Sisson or Sisson. I'm sorry, Hugh, if I said your name wrong. But at the time, he was running the only craft beer bar in the Baltimore area, and he was doing it with his father. He wondered if he could maybe do his own thing and maybe make his own beer. At the time, in the early 80s, craft beer was still kind of a new thing. I mean, Sam Adams, I don't even think Sam Adams had come out yet. Or maybe it did, but it wasn't like the conglomerate that it is now. Yeah, but it's not what we know I mean, now. craft beer, what we know now, where we have like 100, 100 different craft beer places within 50 miles of where we are. Yeah. Back then, it was a lot more unique. Um, so in 86, he decided to try his own, you know, his own, his own attempt. Um, in 95, he opened his own brewing company called Clipper City Brewing. And in 2003, they changed their name to Heavy Seas Beer and uh, adopted the Jolly Roger. So they're kind of going for that pirate theme. Okay. Um, which is kind of cool. But obviously, this is a pumpkin beer. Yep. And it kind of just gives off that Halloween feel. You know what I mean? So I don't think this is going to be one where, like, Pumpkinhead, you, you, you can get with the the cinnamon rim. I don't know how a cinnamon rim would, would yeah, go maybe with not the, as barren, much with the, the bourbon aged, yeah, but I smelled it quickly and it, it, it initially hit me with, because I'm smelling from the bottle, <laughs> it, it hit me with a, a stronger pumpkin head style smell. But then when I took a whiff out of the glass, I got that bourbon smell. Yeah. It's, it's, it's it, you can definitely tell it was aged in bourbon barrels Yeah, because there's a ton of bourbon on the nose. There is pumpkin there too, but it's, it's almost like pumpkin head or something along those lines. One of the thousands of pumpkin beers that come out every year. But it's heavy with that boozy bourbon yeah, yeah. smell on the nose. So why don't we give this a shot? Yeah, let's see what we'll we see got See what here. we think about it. Very boozy. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of what we expected. That was, like drink, that was like a shot of whiskey, and then the aftertaste was pumpkin, which yeah, I'm it's, all it's, for. It's almost like – I don't, don't want to say it's it's like drinking a glass of Fireball, but it has that – That not, burn. That, that the, the little bit of burn you get with Fireball, yep. but it's more pumpkin than cinnamon. So I guess, you know what, I, I take back what I said before. I, I think you could probably do a cinnamon rim with this. Yeah. it would give you almost like... It still finishes. Like, you're like Almost like you're doing a shot of Jameson and... Oh, not Jameson, I'm sorry. A shot of uh, Fireball. Yeah. And then chasing it with a pumpkin head or another yeah. pumpkin beer. Or if you're a crazy maniac like me, you just Dude, throw Fireball just pumpkin into your bombs. pumpkin head and just... Pumpkin bombs. Chug that all night. That You heard that here first. Fear and beer. Pumpkin bombs. Pumpkin bombs. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it. Halloween night. Instead of... Jaeger bombs. Yep, yep. Pumpkin bombs. We're having a fear and beer pumpkin uh, Halloween party, and we're just gonna do pumpkin bombs. God, I wonder if anybody else remembers ten people. that. Ten, 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 max ten people, but you know, I can't I can't imagine anybody else would remember that YouTube Jaeger bomb video. I I don't remember it. Oh, that was from fifteen we years could, ago. Oh, we 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 could call them Jaeger bombs. We, we could call them Jaeger the bombs. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jaeger yeah, bombs. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fucking Jaeger bombs. <laughs> we, we 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 could call it the we could call it the uh, the Green Goblin because yeah. he throws pumpkin bombs. He does. I think we're on to something. Huge nerd. I think we're on to something. I'm here. a gigantic nerd. <laughs> All right. I'm in on this beer. I like it. Mm-hmm. 
What's the ABV on this? It's got to be relatively high. I didn't look. I didn't see. Yeah. Well, they do a good job at hiding it wherever the ABV But I've been wrong before. I mean, not every... Ten percent. Okay, so yes, it is high. <laughs> a fairly, fairly high... That's where so all what you're the saying is, is I have to drive home so I can only have half the bottle. This is why. This is why we're splitting this beer up a little bit. All right, you ready to dive in? Yeah, let's you get got your let's, got your list. Yeah, over let's there? go through the notes. We'll go through our list, and uh, we starting from the top or the bottom. I would start from the top. Let's go from ten. All right, all the way through one. And what we'll do is we'll we'll alternate these. Yeah, so. I'll let you go first because we know how you feel about number ten. <laughs> number ten. If you haven't listened to us before, and this is directly, a, this is a direct attack at me because he knows I'd be the one talking about this all the time. <laughs> well, it's more of a commentary on the community as a whole. So number ten, things I can't wait for in 2021, <laughs> is to stop talking about Bob, Billie Eilish. Good, bad, or indifferent, <laughs> we have spent many a times talking about the potential of a Billie Eilish house. Whether it comes or not, at this point, I've, I think we've all said our piece. Unfortunately, people are still saying their piece, and I just can't wait well, for it never, to stop. It's regardless. never not gonna have. I mean, it's it's. I think at this point, it's almost a guarantee they're gonna do the house. I yeah. would hope they do, but we're gonna have a whole year talking about it, my oh, friend. God, I just can't wait for it. Once the talking is over, I don't even care at this point if the house. Like, if they decide to open HHN houses tomorrow and said you're getting Billie Eilish, I'm like, I don't even give a shit anymore. <laughs> I, I'm in. Let's go. Well, I mean, the cool again. We said it before. The cool thing about it is, it's it's something new, something different. We've never seen anything like it before. Yeah, and it's not based on any internal property or any outside yep. of property that you know. Unlike the the uh, Rob Zombie stuff, which is mm-hmm. a property you've seen before. Yeah, we don't know what this house would be. So the cool thing is, is at least all the talking would be speculation. Yeah, until no. everybody goes and sees it, and then mm-hmm. after we see it, then it'll be either a lot of bitching or yep. a lot of praising <laughs> her. Which mind. is what I declared I would be doing all year until the event. So I guess I have a year. Of it to go. You have a whole year of bitching about Billie but Eilish. But if you did listen to one of our past episodes, I did also rank that on my, my uh, most yep. anticipated things. We have it was both just of, because both of us were I'm highly so it. curious about it. Mm-hmm. Good, bad, or indifferent. Oh, so yeah. number ten, excited to stop talking about Billie Eilish. <laughs> Want to take it on it, from there? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about her all the time, all, <laughs> all, all, all year long. Long, but uh, so number nine. This one's uh, right up our alley because yep. we're it's not nice. only fear and beer, but we're also Irish it's and Italian. Happens every year. Um, so we already do this anyways, but it's only worse at the parks. Um, we can't wait to pay way too much money for beer. <laughs> I have never, Way too much money for pumpkin head. Yeah, I've never been so happy to spend $10 on a shipyard pumpkin head for a, for a, pint for a for, single for, pumpkin head. I mean, for, for a single pumpkin head where you can go to the liquor store and buy a six yeah. pack. But, you know, hey. It doesn't matter because it's at the event. I'm there. And it's I'm awesome. In. I'm mentally there. As, I mean, I don't know what it is about emptying my wallet to make beer somehow taste better. I mean, but it puts me be, in a better mood. I mean, I mean, let's be honest. Pumpkin beer turns every male in America yeah. into basic bitches. Oh, yeah. No offense to all our, my, my basic oh. bitches out there. I was on my I way love to you work guys. with a iced pumpkin spice coffee. Yeah. From Duncan I mean, already. literally, it's we, we are the same as you guys, just minus the Ugg boots. Yeah. Like, legitimately. Like, <laughs> pumpkin beer turns me into the like the biggest, like, oh, yeah. I'm pumpkin in everything. the fall. I'm pumpkin every. I don't even care. It's delicious. So, I mean, beer, how do you... Coffee, I mean, so I, I can't imagine doing an HHN event without having... Pumpkin head or some sort of pumpkin yep. flavored beer there. No, it has to be there, and I can't wait to absolutely unload my yeah and bank I, account and, 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 to get and, and, to have six beers at the event and yeah, drop and, and get out of here with your with your ciders and stuff. Like yeah, yeah cider is one thing, but it's not Halloween. That's mm-hmm. fall. It's different. All right, number eight. I cannot wait to buy shirts for HHN twenty one that have the most minute amount of changes from the ones i just bought last week because you're saying spending more money on the same crap yep (laughs) goddamn right they're we don't do that yeah i am banking on shirts having just hhn 2021 on it instead of hhn 2020 or 30 years 30 fears there's going to be just that little arm sleeve decal change and i am going to buy but it. you know we're we're gonna buy it all and we're still gonna bitch that it's the same shit as last year yep right? <laughs> that's what we do i'm definitely gonna have two of the same shirt for four or God five damn it, universal we want our cake and we want to eat that shit too yep and i'm going to purchase all of them Clearly, regardless of if i have them already 
especially these throwback shirts because they're gonna have Dude, a lot those of, things are sick they're and they're cool but and, and i'm hoping they carry all the way through to i would some i would hope so events. i'm hoping they kind of add additional events to yeah it. i'd love a lady luck shirt if yeah. they ever make one yep and i'm expecting to purchase some shirts that i bought back then at 25 or 26 and I'm expecting to buy the same exact shirt again. And yeah, I will. and I'm one of those dudes that like if they throw in like a, an annual pass holder logo onto one of the same exact shirts, and they I'll say this it. is it, this is only an annual pass holder shirt, I'll buy yeah. that too. Twenty five bucks, thirty bucks. I don't care. Done in. All right, where are we at over here? We're 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 down to seven. Nice. All right, that's we're going quick. So number seven is that is that age old argument that you have at every every theme park anywhere ever. At all, at, you know, whenever you go anywhere, but HHN, it's always kind of the same thing. And when you get there and you're all like, as a big group, you're like, hey, you know, where are we going to start? And, you know, you may think, well, why don't you start in the back and go from the go back to the front? It makes sense. And all lines. Yeah, you never know. Because you always get that one dude that's in the group that takes the lead. Yep. Thinks he's like alpha male or whatever, or alpha female. We don't, we, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't judge who takes, Mr. Who takes and Mrs. the lead. I'm, 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 I'm all for a strong female. Yeah female lead but you know you never know sometimes going from the front to the back ain't, ain't, yeah. ain't the worst either i mean last year kind of sucked because stranger things was basically right up front and that's yep. where like everyone went Funneled there so like everybody would go there on their one night ticket and waste their entire night waiting to go in the stranger yep. things house 160 but. minutes cool i'm in okay. <laughs> i'm yeah, down i'm not <laughs> <laughs> let's go wait five minutes for the for the for the underwater one which depths of fear nobody seemed to like give a lot of credit yeah. to and i thought was awesome 20 but. 20 minutes for nightingales let's go but, but, but what kind of guy are you? are you are you the front to back guy or the back to front guy i am oh, is this a hhn or a wiping question yeah uh, well <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna stick with the hhn i am typically a back to front i am too so that way that's generally those tent houses where it's more originals and it generally does prove me wrong it generally yeah. does have the shorter 20 to 40 minute waits especially on those busier nights versus that that Stranger Things, Ghostbusters yeah, and style I think, waits. And I think if, if the if the 21, 2021 event follows kind of along what Nightmares was going for with the last map that they had, yep. I, I think that this that year or this year it, it could. Might have to go opposite. It, yeah, it, it may change it up just a little bit because I think there's going to be a lot of different draws mm-hmm. at that event rather than like your typical event where you have that one big IP that everybody wants to go see. Yep. So you're going to have it spread out a little bit more and maybe more even when it comes to the wait times. Yeah, and even like typically in those back tent houses where those the originals most of the you know quote unquote originals for an anniversary or especially one it's being so be big like the anniversary is, stuff. you know yeah. the anniversary house the icon house those are ones that people are going to clamor to yeah. just as much as those ips if not more so than right you know, and kind of and kind of leading into the, ones leading in in, in the item six there is one particular house that I think is would be that's obviously new, mm-hmm. but is going to draw a lot of people. So why don't you kind of go through jump what in. our sixth is? So number six, I need to know what Pumpkin Lord is. Mm-hmm. What is it? Who is he? I are bought we, the shirt. I don't even getting, know what he is. Yeah, are we getting? Is it a new icon? I would hope so. How does it tie into past stories? Does it intertwine with other icons? It's what does it look like? What does the house look like? Is it a scare zone and a house? I need to know more well, about so Pumpkin Lord. Let's talk about a little bit, little about. Let's talk a little bit about this because you're right. I think everybody listening wants to know who the hell is Pumpkin Lord because he looks sick. Yeah, like the shirt that the shirt that we had looks awesome. I love the comic book like that style that D, like the EC comic style that that old timey eighties you know like old time. Sorry everybody that grew up in the 80s i didn't mean to call you old timey, but you know what i mean like <laughs> we're grouping old, ourselves in that when we say yeah that. i mean i'm old too but like the comic book that, that that look is really cool but on top of that they have other characters in that shirt not only is it pumpkin lord but it says including yeah blood and bone yep so they were at previous events so oh, were they a lot of those other characters i'm showing my my newbiness <laughs> a lot of those other characters were were known um i don't have I know tara Krantis is on the shirt too yeah yeah uh Bone was from 26, I want to say. I'm just off the top of my head. No, I think she's a hot was. chick. That's all I know. Yeah. But the only other one was like the uh, that little creature in the corner was that unknown. Uh, okay. But, but yes, right. well, Pumpkin Lord. That is, answers my question. But yeah, I mean. But still, Pumpkin Lord is very unknown. So do you think point. he's an icon then? I hope so. It's been a while since we had one. Yeah. A new one. You know, the last the last one was Lady Luck in 21. Right. And, and this might tie into that harvest you were talking about the harvest um, yeah from a couple years zone. ago that scare zone and i think it does and i i loved that scare zone so much and i want to see 
that story get as a house yeah yeah just divulge and much like you want from last year that vikings undead mm-hmm. for that to be a house at some point that was how i was with the harvest it was just such cool scenery yeah and, and it should at some point get the nod and i'm hoping that this year the nod is that pumpkin lord and hopefully it's an icon and it's it's badass. Yeah, I mean, he, he looks – he look, like, like I said, in the graphic work on the T-shirt, he looks great. I can only imagine what he would look like in person in a – you know, done up uh, in his – Stilts with the yeah. fire coming out of his I mean, that's face, obviously yeah. where your stilt walkers would be. Yep. I would hope. I mean, I, who knows? I could be wrong. But that, to me, would be, like, the one I would want to go to first. Like, that would be the first house I get in line yes. with. And I would wait probably – 60 to 80 minutes just to wait for yeah. that one. Oh, yeah. Opening night, I, I'll wait. What I mean, at the, once the event starts, I don't really care what I wait. The second, third, fourth, fifth time when I go is when I start being like, yeah. eh, 20 minutes. Well, opening night, okay. I mean, we usually what we'll do is opening night, we'll pick the three or four houses that we definitely want to do that night, wait yep. in the lines, do it, and then throughout the rest of the event, we'll go and do all the other the ones. Other but, ones. yeah, Pumpkin Lord is definitely – I'm really, really excited for that. Yeah. All right, so we made it through our... Oh, yeah, we are halfway through. Our top... So yeah. we're in our top five. We're in our top How five. this one made top five, I'll, <laughs> I I don't know. Nick this, helped, Nick kind of like... Helped, like I, I helped put this list together, but Nick put this at five, and I don't... I mean, This is one of those things we were talking about, and I'll let you take the lead on after. But this is one of those things that when you sense it, you just know exactly where you are. Yeah, and, and it, it's just, either, it it's, just feels good. It's either HHN or a locker room. Yeah. But... Let's be honest. Everybody here, don't lie to yourselves. You love when you get up in your line for your fifth house of the night. It's like eleven thirty. You and your, you and your buddies or you, you know your friends. You know you, you got two or three beers in you and you're you, you you're waiting for this next house to go. And it's probably not even the coolest house on property. It's probably like who knows? But it's probably like the worst one. But it doesn't matter because you're waiting in line for it. You smell the gasoline. You smell all those those odors coming from the, coming from like the the scare actors walking around the scare zones and all, and all the different smells around you. But then you also get that slight tinge of body odor from yourself, <laughs> from everybody around you. Those hot August days. That, those those summer, hot summer, days. summer night, like late summer, like early fall nights here in Florida. And maybe it's the same way in Hollywood. I don't know. But in Florida, it's still hot. It's still hot in August and it's still hot in September and it's still hot in October. And all you do is you smell that stuff and you go, Oh, being an HHN, yeah, because you know what? It just—it's just like I said before. It's like that smell that brings you back to grandma's house. Yeah, grandma has terrible nasty body odor. You smell <laughs> it and you're like, mm, grandma's house, or yeah. you're like, oh, so you smell it and you go, mm, HHN. Yeah. So mix that with you know the you know, all the food and, and everything else. That it's just, it just it sounds funny and it is, but like it really does. It's it's one of those weird things where maybe it's just us. You're in line and you get that smell but of you just, bo, yeah, beer, you just, and gasoline, you just, baby. You just you just get that that tinge and you're like, mm, this is exactly where I want to be yeah, right now. It's and not I'll just night. theme park sweat. It's like you can tell the difference between theme park day sweat bo and like yeah, that's that that's unpleasant. BO at horror nights where it's yeah, this is like cold, like not cold, but like it's cooler, cooling simmering off, simmering down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's weird. I know, really. So that's weird. our number five. That's that five. Sweet eleven thirty p.m. <laughs> the <laughs> smell of HHN. That stank. That stank. <laughs> the HHN stank. All right, number four. This one I think is going to be unequivocally voted on to be in everybody's top ten, and that is. I think it's kind of low to be honest with you, but yeah, we could bump this up a little bit more, but. But I'm with you. Yeah, it's definitely in the top. It's five. in the top five for sure. HHN. Foods. So that good old heart clogging artery, and, oh, yeah. artery filling just food. Rip that thing out of the fryer. God, and them shove snacks. it in my gullet. I mean, let's talk about your favorite snack there. <sighs> <laughs> twisted taters. Oh god, my go-to. And not only twisted taters, but those shit that that, that shit coated in salt. Yeah, salt and vinegar. It's vinegar. And, salt and vinegar. Oh, I want god. them to do it one time, two time, three time. I don't think I've ever had something where I. I've eaten it and gone. That hurt as much as it was awesome. Like, cause like, there's so much like spice and salt on those I things. I don't want to taste for a week after Dude, I. Dude, your my tongue salt is vinegar. dead. Yeah, after eating I love those it. Things. I love it. Like now, you have you have a twisted tater and no joke. Like we're walking. We, I think last year we we I got one. We were walking to the graveyard games house and I'm eating it and I'm going. I can feel my sodium like my my, my high blood pressure just getting worse. Usually you can get. When I, the way I get them is that extra, extra salt and vinegar. And I, and I look at them and I tell them, I was like, 
when I say extra extra, like <laughs> do what you think is the appropriate amount for extra extra, and then just kind of roll it around in the pan a little bit and give me all the excess crap that nobody else wants. Nick Nick laughs in the face of dietitians. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Salt. And Fuck out of here with your no salt. Your sodium <laughs> intake. Get out of here. Oh, it's I wanna, October. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat all the sodium. I want to like like that's one of those things that if I smell it and it like <laughs> <laughs> clears your sinuses, then it's it's pretty much there. This is clearly American problems. So yeah. anyone that like listens to us at America, we eat like assholes here. Yeah, so. especially at HHN. Like, <laughs> yeah, how do you to. not? You have to. So the twisted taters are my and 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 I will I will give the nod to the parm garlic and all the other the original the you know black yeah. pepper seed salt whatever. Yeah. But the salt and vinegar, extra, 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 yeah. takes the cake for me. So yeah, and and so I'm a I'm a sweets guy. Yep. I love sweets. I eat too many sweets as it is. I'm probably gonna die at a young age because of it. But the I'm pumpkin donuts, happy, damn it. dude, the pumpkin donuts mm. and the chocolate sauce dip. Yep. Oh my god! Like you talk about pump. You talk about like again. I told you I'm a basic bitch when it comes to yep. October. Pumpkin, pumpkin spice, anything. I mean, except coffee It's the only thing I don't drink. But pumpkin beer, pumpkin donuts, dip in some. Fucking chocolate sauce. Those things are ridiculous. And they give you a ton of them, too. Like, they give you, like, oh, they don't mess 15 around, which of nice. them. It's like and the worst part is you buy them and you feel bad and try to give them to your buddies. And they're all like, no, no, I'm good, man. And you're like, shit. So I think all these myself. And, of course, I'm going to do it because I love them. Yeah. But I'm still going to feel like an asshole after I eat them all. But, yeah, I love the pumpkin donuts. Those things are great. Um, and the other one, I don't know how you feel about these ones, but the pizza fries that they have. So the pizza fries I like. The dessert pizza fries, it's like mar- – marshmallows and stuff those like that. Those weird me out. That I had them and I loved them. Really? They're so good. It's and it's again it's almost it's, like it's the, diabetes on a plate. Yeah. But it's, I mean to me that that almost feels like dessert pizza at CC's yeah. which is like I don't know just why would you do that <laughs> but like hey to each their own. I get yep. it. I get it. I just don't know how I could I don't know if I could do potato and chocolate Yeah, and I have I could have them a couple times throughout the event whereas twisted taters I could have every single I mean night. but the pizza fries yeah, I mean those things are those things are those things are good too. Yeah, those. I mean, who doesn't like it's cheese? Yeah, French I mean, it's fries pizza and, toppings and on top of fries. I mean, it's it's, it's like it's like it's an Italian. It's like right a there. bastardization of poutine, and all the Canadians, all the French Canadians, hate us for it. But you know what? Hey, I love poutine too, but it's our version of poutine. It's like yeah. our stolen Italian poutine our, version of. It's our know, poutine. October poutine. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey, it's good stuff. I, is there anything else snack wise you can think of that like? I mean, there's there's a. I mean, sure they have other things. I mean, what, I think what's cool is, and I didn't really get a chance to like look at it when I was there the one time I went. I, I had to go back and check it out. But like the snacks that they were selling in the tribute house, if there was anything like new or so unique, we, yeah, we actually went over there and ate a bunch of those. Mm-hmm. They were they were good. They have these little like gummy sour hearts, which are like that's cool. I destroyed my tongue on because it's like <laughs> the the substance of it is very tongue like. I just oh, bit really? my tongue in, instead of the gummy. <laughs> I'm ow, an idiot. <laughs> but they were they were good. They are God. I think it was like five bucks for like two of them or something. So it was it was whatever. So but I wonder if like those snacks would like I think have they carried were, over to. I the, think they were planned for the event. Yeah. And they just they they had to find a way to get some money. And were they all them. Beetlejuice themed or? No, no, not all of them. I don't think there were some that was like a uh, chocolate covered pretzel okay. in there. Um, so they that had a lot good. of like little generic y they had some donut stuff. Um, they had just a handful of different things. I can't really remember off the top of my head, but what I also am looking forward to is whatever you know, and I guess we're talking about it now, but whatever themed foods, you know, like last year when they had the Stranger Things, those those waffles with like jelly beans and oh, like right. all yeah. that stuff on the, you know, just those funky things that were themed after whatever IP they kind of get. And yeah. I think we're looking at now what we would have gotten. Probably. Which is nice, but I'm always looking forward to that surprise. Yeah, I wonder like, if we'll get some, like, I, I, obviously this year we'd have gotten some sort of pumpkin, special pumpkin stuff yep. just because Pumpkin Lord's a, a thing now. But yeah, but that's that's really what I have for that HHN food. That was the... Uh, oh, yeah. That's what knocks Easily the top, top five. five Easily top sure. five. So we're in our top three. Um this one, I don't know if I'm so much the one that look. I'm not, I'm the one looking forward to this, but I can see where Nick's coming from. Yeah. Especially on those hot, like we said, some of those early September or mid September hot nights where it's like 90 degrees still, mm-hmm. and you are sweating balls and you're already starting to smell like body odor. Um, but you get that one house, that cold, 
super pumped AC house. Yeah. Like everything else is like super stuffy and, and hot, but you get that one that's just blasting AC. Yeah. The one so you that... walk in, you get your nipples are immediately hard. <laughs> just cutting through glass. Right. With those things. I mean, you're immediately cutting glass the minute you walk into it. And like yeah. last year, that was probably the snow house. The Yeti. The Yeti house. Yeah. And just for whatever reason, there's always like one house, even if it's not, even if there's no like winter or snow themed house, I feel like there's also always still one like designated house that is just for yeah, whatever reason for 15 sure. degrees colder. Universal is definitely like telling themselves like, all right, so which house is going to be like the house where everybody Which like, one's going to eat our electric bill? balls off. Yeah. But very refreshing. You yeah. Oh, yeah. In, you get oh, that yeah. like. Yeah. Whew, but even, like, like, I guess it's refreshing, I guess, only if you haven't already gone through three other houses and you're not already sweating. Mm-hmm. Like if you're already sweating and you walk into those houses, oh, yeah. it's like your, your, sh- your shirt immediately freezes. Yeah. Like, immediately, like, almost, <laughs> like, you know when you see those dudes who go outside of Minnesota and throw <laughs> water up in the air and it freezes immediately? Yeah. That's like my shirt. It steams out, yeah. Because I sweat like a pig. And I think it was kind of us almost had that last year as well, too. Probably. When you're walking into that very beginning part and there's like that the rain and it sounds like Mm -hmm. thundering and it it makes it colder because it wants you to make you feel like you're in a storm there's wind and yeah whatever happens to be the designated quote-unquote cold house it's almost like riding pirates of the caribbean at disney world where you're like you're you're on a boat it's a breather and they're blowing ac yeah it's the breather wind yeah but it's always there so that's i always like uh just kind of guessing it out i can see why people (laughs) enjoy that all right number two and I'm hoping that this comes soon. So I'm not going to get my hopes up. However, the second thing that I am looking forward to the At most point. that I can't wait for for 2021 is that first official not rumor. announcement. Not yeah. unofficial. No rumors. That first announcement. And we technically already got the first announcement. Yeah, we already got the first one. Not the one I was looking for. Nope. However, I don't know when they're going to be dropping, but because it is a very unprecedented year, I have a very optimistic look on things where I always think things are going to go right and that's good, whatever, but you're the yin to my yang. Yeah. Right. That's where we balance each other out. Right. However, because I'm a negative Nancy, obviously the Halloween par nights, it's not happening this year that we kind of get announcements further away from the event. Yeah. We kind of talked about this in one of our earlier episodes. If you haven't yeah. already gone on back and checked it out, but so, I mean, yeah, I, you're right. I, I hope that they don't wait until like, next summer to start dropping stuff yeah, i'm hoping like wait until july again yeah i mean i'm hoping that they're gonna reuse a lot of what they already have mm-hmm. and they're just they're gonna start teasing us with some official yeah. announcements as we go along even if it's like not a full-on this is the house but giving me like a 15 second teaser of yeah. pumpkin lord doing something fucking cool like yeah like, or jack I mean, saying yeah. like oh but i get my pumpkin friends to like yeah. is it that, stuff like that would be kind of cool yeah just a little gimmicky like no tv spots but like twitter stuff yeah just something online media and just like an actual official announcement Mm -hmm. and i know it's like it's been weird because like they got the mon at the tribute store that you have universal monsters then you have the whole jack's room and then you have beetlejuice so it's like i guess it's confirmation you know it it is but there still has not been right so i think the only thing that worries me a little bit because they've already dropped some stuff is that the stuff that they've dropped they're they're dropping it because they're not going to do it next year. Yeah. Like the Beetlejuice stuff. Like maybe they only have Beetlejuice for yeah. this year and they're not going to get it for next year. That's why they dropped everything. I, I don't think so. Yeah. but it, I just hope it know. isn't that. And, you know what but I mean? But because we haven't had an announcement, we don't – we're left to speculate. Right. I, mean, I've already, I mean, I already bought my Beetlejuice hat, which case, is sweet. Yeah. But yeah. like, you know, you're right. I, I hope that they do start dropping some tidbits here and there. Yeah, this little Christmas gift or whatever for this yeah. year. And it's like, hey, you know, here's some stuff to look forward to. Yeah, on Halloween, drop a little video or mm-hmm. something, you know. Right. But that, when you wake up and you just see Twitter is just blowing up. Just ding, 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 yeah. ding, ding. And you're like, oh, shit, get, get, get on the phone. Get, what, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? And you pull up that first little teaser and, you know, HHN 2021. Mm-hmm. Right. Coming to kill soon. Yeah, that's stuff. That's definitely something we're looking forward to. I mean, I can't wait to get that first taste of, hey, this is what's happening this yeah. year. Get excited. And those little teaser videos are always awesome. I, mean, like I love the Stranger getting hyped. Things one, the Ghostbusters like announcement videos, mm-hmm. the Killer Clowns videos. They're they're always really well done. So they always have great production value on these things, and it's just exciting right. to finally see those. So we are down to number one. Number one. Our oh. number one and thing, I, and that I, we just can't wait for. And I get the official like. The honor. The honor to do it. <laughs> so number one is pretty much, I think, everybody's number one. And this is something that, obviously, everybody, with anything that you enjoy, that you always get this very 
initial just giddy feeling that that christmas morning feeling is and for us it, it's it's when we get through the security gates we get through city walk and we're walking up to that front gate and all you hear is the music swelling and you yeah. hear you hear the the chainsaws in the distance and you hear mm-hmm. you hear all the the hhn sounds and you see the the big billboard style posters yep, hanging up and everything else the lights and, are dim i mean that first step into the park is the one thing that I think Nick and myself really can't wait for, I mean, every year it's the same buildup. It's like, I can't wait to get there for the opening night. Yep. And even if I have to wait in an hour long wait just to get into the park, damn it. I'll do I, it. I, I, I mean, we're commiserating with the community. We love everybody around us cause we're all there for the same reason. Yep. We're all there for the, our love of horror and Halloween and everything else. So that first step into the park yep. is obviously key. Yep. You take that step. You hear the chainsaws, you see the lights, you smell the fog, and you can just close your eyes and you know you're home. You can almost, if you're listening, you could probably close your eyes right now and you could almost get that feeling of that first time when you scan your ticket, you were walking towards it. Last year it was an arcade, and regardless of how good that scare zone is, at this point I would take it now. Yeah. But you just know that you're at Horror Nights, Mm -hmm. that first step in the Mm -hmm. park. You can smell the food. The food, the fog, Mm -hmm. the chainsaws, the gas. You see all those characters. Everyone's got all that opening night energy. You see those those, those people selling the drink bands? You're like, yes. You see the 12-year-olds that that are screaming at everything on their phone. Mm -hmm. Oh, even even that I'll take at this point. Uh, I'll take all of the bad with the good if I can have it. It's just the atmosphere. It's that atmosphere that it creates, that HHN creates, for horror nuts like us, I mean, that's just, it's, like I said, it's like Christmas morning for us. Yeah, we mean, group up, too. I mean, when we went last year, we had probably 10, 12 was, people with us. And it was just... Opening night, we had 10 or 12. There was a lot. And just getting everybody together. And it's people from all different areas. You know, we got friends from work, and we got family, and yep. we're nerds, so we had friends from Pokemon Go. Right, and, exactly. You know, <laughs> just, you know, lifelong friends. I, I used to come to this event before I even lived down here, and... One of my one of my very very good friends, Kelly, she lives down here, and that was kind of our thing for the first couple of years. And now that I moved down, it's, you know, it's not not to say it's um I don't want to say it's not special, but we go more than once. Back right. then, I would only go once a year because right. I wasn't down here. But you know, we are all part of that larger collective yeah. group, and you know, she has all her friends that come too, and it's just like we. It just mash up a it giant and, group of people and obviously of like friends living near it for us it's it's a different experience than someone that can only come for one time but again i think for those people it's even more special because like oh, absolutely. they only get to come one or two nights out of every year so it's still a big deal for them probably even a bigger deal and for us again it's just for us honestly for the two of us it's watching football yeah. I'm going to HHN afterwards. Yep. And like, you know, we go, we, we we drink a few beers, watch the Patriots play, go Pats, um, and then drink a few, some more beers and go to HHN and walk around and get, try, get the shit scared out of us. And hey, Try just, to drink as many beers as I can before we go in because then it reduces the uh, – Yeah, it reduces, that reduces, it reduces our, number nine. Oh, number nine, yeah, number nine. Less beers bought at $10 a head. But, yeah, I yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just – it really is just that – Awesome feeling. I mean, some people get the same feeling when they walk into Disney for the first time again yep. in a long time. I mean, it's the same idea. It's that wow factor. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that was our top 10 things that we cannot wait for in 2021 in regards to HHN. Yeah. Let us know what you guys are excited for, what, what, what you guys can't wait for. What, I mean, what, what, what's killing you to have to wait a whole year to see yeah, again? Did we miss something? We didn't want to take the easy way out. We want. We didn't want to go, number one, Icon House, number two, Anniversary oh, House. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, three. we want to see all the houses. Like yeah. There isn't a single house in the list that I was like, eh. I mean, obviously, the Texas house I was a little yeah. concerned about. It's but, funny. We didn't even mention houses or scare zones on that whole list. Mm-hmm. Because is, obviously, I mean, that's obvious. That's, I mean, yeah. everybody listening to this, I mean. That's what you want. Oh, I, I, I can't wait for the houses. Well, no crap. Everybody yeah, can't no wait shit. for the houses. <laughs> yeah. But you're right. I mean, let us know what, you know, if there's anything that else that we forgot to mention that you guys can't wait for. Yeah. Uh, let, us, let know. us know on social media. We I, love fan interaction. So yeah. if you are listening to us for the first time, that's one thing that's that we're awesome. very big on. We love hearing from you guys. We're just Two dudes in a bedroom recording a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> and we do reviews of movies every every first episode of the month. So if you guys have ideas for movies that we want us to talk yep. about, let us know. Yeah. So let's um let's dive into 
the whole contest thing that we were yeah so what yeah why don't you explain how, how, how yeah explain how they can how they can win the uh the items and then we'll so, quickly go through some stuff that we've been watching lately for sure so the way to enter our double feature giveaway is pretty simple so one you have to share our page on the respective social media so if you're on instagram tag and share our instagram page if you're on facebook tag and share our facebook page if you're on twitter tag and post us on your Twitter and just make sure you tag us because that's how we're going to keep track of all this. So for each platform that you tag us in or share us in, that's one entry. So you can get up to three entries because those are our three main platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You can only win once. So if you win the first drawing, then you're not eligible to win the second one. And the contest is going to run from now when you are hearing this quote unquote Saturday and it's going to run until the end of day Saturday. So this is an only Saturday event. So as soon as you hear this, find us on Facebook, find us on Twitter, find us on Instagram, and you can either screenshot, whatever, post us on your story, tag us, or post us on your actual page, tag us, and each platform is gonna give you one entry. We are going to gather all the entries based off of our notifications, because that's why you have to tag us. We're going to list everything out, everyone that's entered. We're going to pop it all into a generator. And then Sunday, me and Seamus are going to get together. We're going to post a video, and we're going to draw those out for you, and we're going to announce those winners. And we'll contact them personally. We'll see if we have to either ship them out or meet them at one of the parks or what have you. But that is how we're going to do it. So I think it's yeah, pretty We could even self do a Facebook Live video, too. And just like yeah, or Instagram Live or whatever. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So, again, just to kind of run through it so that way there's no – confusion about anything you have to share our page on either instagram facebook or twitter each one is going to give you an entry so you can have up to three if you only do one then you're only going to get one entry but if you do all three you get all three so you can enter three times we are going to have to have you tag us we're going to track that and then we are going to draw it and this is only running on saturday up till midnight sunday right yes okay Yep, so you have all of Saturday to tag us. So while everybody is throwing tags around on this whole HHN event, tag us, post us around, and kind of spread the news about us. It kind of helps us help you. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if, if, if you like our content, please listen to everything we've put up so far. Follow us on whatever platform you listen to podcasts on, and just keep track of us because we're going to be doing stuff every week from here until whenever. and. Yeah, we um, have a pretty hefty catalog we, at this yeah, point. We gotta, We're 15 episodes, yeah. 16 episodes in now. Yeah, so we get a we get we we have a, we have a really good schedule up going going forward. So yep. check us out, like, like, and subscribe, and that sort of thing. All right. So do you want to kind of go through some stuff we've watched lately? Yeah. Just let's to just close let's, the episode let's out. Hit on, let's hit on some recency um, in that whole horror aspect. Yeah, and this is just you know just in case anybody wants some suggestions of what to watch or whatever if you haven't watched and it yet. Or my not. suggestions are going to be something you've probably already seen. So let's go with yours first and then we'll, All right. Uh, yeah, so I've watched a couple things. <laughs> one really good, one not so good. <laughs> but I want to suggest it anyways because I think it's hilarious. Um so uh, over the week I've watched a few just just kind of catching up with some of the horror movies that I had heard about but I hadn't seen. Um one of them is not quite a horror movie. But it's really, really messed up. It's a, it's a good movie, but I will warn you, it's 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 a hard movie to watch because it's it's almost too real. It's a mockumentary, so it's a fake documentary style uh, movie based on what we would believe to be a serial killer. Um, it's called the Pookie's uh, the. The Pukipsy tapes or the Pokeepsy tapes? Oh, the Pokeepsy tapes. Pokeepsy tapes. Yeah. So you can find it on Tubi TV right now, which is for free as long as you, you know, but no, it's for free on Tubi TV. Um, like I said, it it to me it I love it because I like weird, creepy, awful shit that <laughs> could potentially happen in real life because yeah. that shit scares me. Like that actually gives me it makes the it creeps. way more, more um, fun. And but it is. I will. I will warn you. It is for anyone with sensibilities to that sort of thing. It is really raw. I mean, it is, I mean, and I'm talking really raw. Um, it's not like movie magic type stuff. Like it's just makes you feel a certain way. And um, 
But it's really good. So if you're into that type of thing, that's something I watched. And then the other thing I watched, which I think is hilarious, it was a terrible movie, but it was so <laughs> funny. Those, and those the thing are is, almost better than yeah, the good and, ones. Yeah, and the hilarious thing is, like, people were talking, I mean, the comments that I was seeing about it, is, like, people talking about how it's a classic and stuff, but um, it's Hatchet from 2006. I love Hatchet. You? <laughs> I do like you? it. I do, do you? like it. So I watched it for the first time ever. I know. I don't mind. There are certain movies where people go, wow, can we, you're horrible and you haven't seen it, but that movie... I have a real issue with 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 horror movies that are trying to be funny, yeah, and with horror movies that are either naturally funny or at least they don't try to be too funny. It's trying. It's like it's trying. It's to almost be a like C rate movie when it's just like yeah. It's almost like trying. It's going too hard for that camp, and that I, and I, and, I, and I'm okay with campiness. But don't get me wrong. Try to be the camp, but it's almost like it was trying to be a comedy and a horror movie. And my problem is is just that. I don't think comedy and horror really go together unless it's like a black or a dark comedy. A few instances, like it works, but more often than not, like Shaun of the Dead works. Like yeah, and Tucker and, and Dale versus Evil works Right, that, for me. It, it works. And I think but part, not all of them I'm do. sure part of it's the acting, too. I yeah. mean, this movie, the acting was, it was, it was fair. I'll, I'll be fair. I'll be fair <laughs> to the movie and say it was a fair acting. Um, right but in yeah, the middle. That's, that, that, that was really good. And then one other movie that I watched that I think everybody should watch, especially if you're a fan of the genre, if you haven't already. Um, it's called Sleepaway Camp. I will tell you right now, it is not a particularly good movie, but it's one of those slashers that if you're a fan of the genre and you haven't seen this, you really do have to go watch it because it was released in 82. It's basically a Friday the, Friday the 13th clone, but the twist at the end, even for today's standard, is pretty shocking. If you're like me, you probably start, you probably see it coming a mile away, but... I mean, it's just one you, I think you really do have to watch as a fan of the genre. So if you have Shudder, it's on Shudder. If not, find it some way and, and watch it. It's, it's a really good movie. And again, for what it is, and again, if, if you're into that type of campy B movie, you know, slasher clones, check it out. So funny enough, so I just pulled up Hatchet because I just wanted to double check on a couple things. <laughs> do you know who is like in this movie for the cast? So it's, it's, Joel David Moore yeah, is so he's the lead, and he's but there's so there's he's in Dodgeball. I know that yeah, much. There's three like I would say like horror icons in yeah, this movie. Well, right, and they're, they're cameos. There are yeah. definitely a lot of cameos in it. Yeah. Like what's this? Um, so we got so Mr. Crowley is played by Kane Hodder. Right, I knew that. Yeah. yeah, Robert England's in this. Yes, I knew that. He's pretty. He's he's pretty easy to to catch. And then Tony Todd, who plays Candyman. Candy yeah. yeah. So uh, that was kind of cool. I, I honestly, it's been a, it's been a while since I've watched yeah, this. Hey, it, again, it's it's one of those movies. Where if you if you if that's all you want is that campiness with yeah. the, with the crazy gory kills. Yeah, it's great for that. And John Carl uh, Bushler was is in that as well. Who was also in the Reanimator. Okay. Yeah, cool. Um, so what have I watched recently? Uh, so you know one of them. If you are if you are a listener to ours, you know uh-huh. that I did watch it. Follows yes. finally. Yep. And we discussed that on our last episode. So if you are go not, back and listen to that. <laughs> yeah. If you are not familiar with our page or our podcast, give that a listen because that was a fun episode that we did. I also I purchased House of a Thousand Corpses and The Devil's Rejects on Blu-ray, and I I purchased one for myself as well. So I I popped those back on and I. <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen those movies, and I kind of wish that I had watched it last year before the event. Before three. Before the event. Oh, before the um, event itself. Yeah, just before the event, so like I could – not that I didn't appreciate the house and not that I – it's my first time seeing yeah, the movie. You would pick some things out But better, it would have been a little bit fresher in my mm-hmm. mind, and I completely forgot that Rain Wilson was in that. Yes, Rain Wilson that the Dwight was in – in House of a Thousand Corpses, and that was like I think two years before The Office. I think The yes. Office was oh three, and mm-hmm. Corpses was oh one. I want to say something like that. It was, but it was a couple years before, so it was pretty funny that uh, that he was Fish Boy. He turned him into his artwork, right? So really, that's all I've seen. Again, nothing major. That's like I have to explain. I'm sure anybody listening knows all of those things that I have been watching as of late. But that's about it for me. Anything else for? No, I mean, Our like I said, potentially that's... new audience. No, um, like I said, I'm glad you guys listened. Hope you guys stick around and yeah, guys, have fun on this uh, HHN at home. This is a really cool event. I hope that you have enough time to listen to all the podcasts. We always stretch ours at just about an hour or so, and we're creeping up there again. Yeah, we're pretty much there. But have fun with this event. I know that it's a bummer that HHN is not happening this year, and we got pushed. But let's make some light of the situation. There's a lot of cool little contests. There's awesome podcasts. There's great material. And there's just there's too many creators to kind of list out all of them. But a lot of these guys are 
things that we have listened to, which kind of got us into this podcast, Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, and realm. this is also a shout out to the Nightmares guys because they're the ones that produce Put the speculation in, yeah. maps together that we've used for a couple episodes yeah. that we've gone through. So you guys are great. You know, um, the work you guys do is awesome, and it gives us plebe something to talk about. Yeah, exactly. So again, guys, thanks for checking us out. Have fun on this HHN at home. And other than that, this is Nick. And this is Seamus. Happy haunts. And again, I would just like to thank Vampire Stepdad for letting us use his music for our intro and outro music. So if you would, just go check him out, Spotify, Facebook. Again, that is Vampire Stepdad.